Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Well, let's get some more information about what's going on in the area. Oh, nuts. Well, what do you got cooking here? Oh, nice. Mm, not a huge fan of the tomatoes, but still, pretty good. Oh, what kind of jewel is that? Hmm, it kind of looks like that black orb that they gave to, or that Bobby gave to Isaac in the first game. Hmm, but we can't take it, so not. Not gonna be getting a boat that way. Oh, what kind of presents? Like a snow globe or something? Well, okay, the, there's a desert over there, but yeah, they probably don't have snow globes there. Oh, um, yeah, I kind of heard about that. I'll keep that in mind. Doesn't look like they got a boat here or anything. Or heck, even just a, a dock or somewhere to keep a boat. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, maybe. Oh, really? Hmm. You rebel scum. But you didn't let him go free. I thought he just escaped on his own. Or at least had some help. Piers? That's a unique spelling for that. Or not. Yeah, how can he be? He's got a unique character sprite. But didn't you just tell him? Yeah, what kind of a cop do you think you are anyway? Yeah, you're kind of in a jail cell. There's not a whole lot you can do. Oh, yeah, there was that one lady who, who was, like, bedridden or something. Well, what good is that going to do you? Yeah, you, you might want to get out of here. Ha ha. <laughs> Didn't I do that? Yeah, he was kind of trying to torment him. Why was he a monster? What, just because he played a practical joke on you or something? Dude, what's with the water around here, anyway? Now, I think this is one of the choices that influences the hidden scene with Craden later. So, let's contradict him. Maybe. And well, let's talk to the guy. Hey, how's it going? Well, if you got synergy, couldn't you just break out of here? Well, they did. Evidently. Oh, yeah, adepts can kind of sense that sort of thing. Yeah, we don't have the hair. Well, you're going to be stuck here for a while then, I guess. What do you mean, has he escaped? There's five, six people here guarding the whole place. Five, three, sir. And besides, if he escaped, where's he gonna go? You've got like 20 people here. You know how long it's taken me to talk to everyone around here? Uh, 
Uh, it's just their imagination. How are you gonna explain it? What, magic? Witchcraft? Well, you're not taking it. Neither are we, evidently. Hey, how's it going? Oh, um, yeah, we were just passing through, but I can clearly see you don't have a boat. He does? I mean, he does. He does. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. There's nowhere else we can go. I've heard that there's actually a little hidden scene if you go to the... There's an area to the west called the Gondwin Cliffs. And I heard there's a scene like in a cave there or something someone was telling me about. But I don't think I can get there until I get another synergy. But I'll check that out when when I do. So thanks for letting me know, viewers. But all right, yeah, now we can head on over to Asenia there. I guess if you would have tried to cross the bridge without going here first, well, you wouldn't have been able to cross the bridge. Why do they guard all these bridges around here? I mean, just, just go. I mean, it's a bridge. It's not like we have kingdoms and armies. Well, okay, yeah, we have invasions around here, but these guys just keep on getting invaded. I guess they're just a little paranoid. Yeah. Yeah, just keep telling yourself that, pal. <laughs> okay, well, that's everything we can do there. How are we doing here? Whoa! Wow, we are really light on synergy here. Okay, yeah, let's actually go to the inn first, and then we'll get going. Well, actually, there's... Well, there's one more thing I want to do while we're here. Once you've actually, like, gotten all the information, the permission, and all that jazz, now we can actually go into the caves under the... Or under Madra here. Well, catacombs. Okay, there you go. How could you have built a town on top of this place without knowing these caverns are here? How does that even work? Now, you actually have to go in this entrance to do what I want to do. Yeah, holy cow! Hmm. Well, you can use Lash to get over to the left side, but that'll just take you over to the other entrance from inside the village, and there's nothing you can do over there. We need another synergy. Actually, we need quite a few synergy to fully explore this place, but I want to go here now because there's one item in particular that I would really, really like to get here after killing these guys. Okay, let's see, we got a drone bee there. They are to Jupiter. So, but I don't have a gen that can really help with that. So we'll just go like this for now. Don't worry about your synergy here because it's the area that we can explore is very limited at this point. So this will probably be the last battle I fight here. Oh, and we got a new synergy for Shiva there. Sword card. Not that I'm actually going to use it. Debuffs, or stat debuffs are pretty damn useless in this game. But it's there. Okay, so now let's see. We got move. Yeah, let's pull the pillar over here. Yeah, there's a whole huge area down there to explore, but we can't reach any of it. So this is the only way we can go for now. And if you go through the whole place, what do we get for our prize? The Tremor bit. I like the Tremors. But alright, that teaches you the Tremor synergy, which isn't a uh, damage synergy. What it does is, well, like, let's say you have a an item that's on top of a bookshelf or a pillar or whatever. You can't reach it normally. But if you use the Tremor Synergy, it'll shake things up a bit and knock something off the bookshelf or crate or whatever. 
So, and that'll be pretty useful at a Hofra there. So, definitely want to get that first. Actually, there is one more thing I want to do before... Oh, no, no, I'm done here. Game? Okay, I actually want to remove the mysterious card there. Or actually, what's your level now? Okay, you're good, yeah. If you got Shiba up to level 8, she'll have Plasma. At least, I think that's when she learns it. So, and a lot of the enemies coming up... Well, there, some of them are going to be weak to uh, Jupiter there. Even though we're going to a, a desert. Hey, what do you think the enemies are weak to in a desert? Fire? Well, if you said fire, I'd hit you. There are some enemies there that actually are weak to fire or Mars. Oh, how do you know that's us? But, okay. But yeah, most enemies coming up are going to be weak to Jupiter there. So, Plasma, that'll be really useful for us. Yeah, Senia. Yeah, well, how important could that village possibly be? But yeah, Senia is a huge continent. And there's quite a few places to go. You don't actually have to go to Alhafra right now. Although, that's where you need to go if you want to progress plot. But, I, I do want to head in the direction of Alhapra for now. Ah, so... Shouldn't you know that that guy they arrested isn't one of them? He didn't exactly have a flag on the ship like that. But, alright. So, in order to get to the end of this area, you would take the lower path, but if you, yeah, just use your last energy, you can actually get a pretty good item, the Pirate Sword. It's a light sword, so we want to give that to Jenna there. Yeah, look at that attack power boost. Holy cow. Yeah, that is one thing about this game compared to the first one, how they rearranged like the elements of each character and their equipment draw like in the first game you know Garrett being the Mars adept he had long swords but in this game the fire adept only gets light swords so it mixes things up a little bit in that respect same thing with armor draw too man holy cow oh well, they probably just want to capture Briggs again anyway. But I guess everyone just wants to use Piers as a scapegoat, except him. Okay, well, let's see. Let's, yeah, hug the coast to the uh, to Al Halfred, just like the guy told us. Show the coast you care, Piers. What the? The bridge is out. We can't go to the east there. Yeah, we're going to have to go through the desert to get to Alhapra. They couldn't have just given us a direct route. No! But alright, we got a new enemy there. Dino! They are with the Jupiter. But they don't have that much HP. Yeah, look at that damage. Not bad, not bad. So, yeah, it's not worth using synergy on them unless there's like a group of them. Where is this? Oh, there's the desert. Well, all right, let's take a look around. Are the ladies going to constantly complain about how much they're sweating here? No. No, that's not this game. We don't have to worry about our temperature here. Okay, now for this area, we're going to be using pound quite a bit. Why they have wooden pillars here for us to pound, I don't know. I mean, the stone pillars at least remotely made sense to have around here, but, I mean, well, they don't have trees around here or anything. But alright, let's see, we got the guardian ring. Let's see, your HP is 74. Yeah, that'll help you out quite a bit there. Awesome. Let me take a look at that. 
Ah, there it is, 20. It didn't boost her HP by 20 though, because of the HP modifier that she has in her jab class. So that's why it gave her less of a boost there. That's the only treasure we can get on this screen. Oh, hey, there's all those guys. How's it going? Well, you're gonna have to go through the desert then. Oh, well, we can't take the bridge there. Could have tried swimming across the river, but no. You're not the mayor? Well, you just put one foot in front of the other and you move. I mean, how hard could it be? Um, well, you're going through a desert. Maybe you should have, I don't know, brought some water? Like a little jug with you or something? Um, eventually, yeah. Well, the bridge was out. Well, fortunately, these guys can do all the complaining about how hot it is here. Although, to be fair, I probably would have done it too. Not a big fan of the desert heat, I'll be honest with you. Hey, what was he saying about Briggs? Oh, okay. Yeah, like I used to say, always burn your bridges behind you. You never know who might be trying to follow. Well... You'd still want to capture Briggs anyway, wouldn't you? How do you know he helped Briggs? Yeah, it's not like you got synergy or anything. Um, well, yeah, that would be kind of a problem. Now, we can't do anything to help them right now. Oh, hey, there's a little oasis there. But we can't quite get to it. Hmm, that little patch of sand there looks suspicious. If only there were an item that would let us do something about that. Sadly, we do not have it. But we do have some new enemies here. Okay, Emu, these guys are also weak to Jupiter. Since there's two of them, I think it's worthwhile to put Plasma to use here. Let's see what these guys... Hmm... Yeah, they do got quite a bit of HP, so let's spread out our attacks a little bit like that. Ow. Wow, that dealt quite a bit more damage than I thought it would. Good thing we got breath going, and I can actually remember to do that. Awesome. Okay, now for this part, there's a whole bunch of these wooden pillars around, and you need to crush specific ones so that way you can still get through this area but leave the, like these ones and the one in the upper left there intact so that way you can get all the way around to get everything around here Let's see we don't need that one well first things first let's get the treasure here or we could just fight another one of these guys why not Okay, let's try that again. Get the treasure here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need antidotes coming up here eventually. Hmm, looks like a dead end. Whatever shall we do? Well, all you gotta do is just use pound here. Ha ha! Yeah. Not really a secret passage, but yeah, sometimes the pillars hide stuff like that. You ever see a pillar in front of a rock face like that? You wanna use pound to get that out of the way and fight some other new enemies okay let's see both of these guys are weak to Jupiter there so let's take advantage of that let's see Mamanga does not have that much HP as a matter of fact let's go like this and then have everyone attack the Cobalt because the Cobalt might defend and prevent me from being able to kill him otherwise Haha! Okay, we got 
uh, genie there. Let's see. I'll just... Yeah, I'll just leave my setup as is for now. But I do want to save. Okay, so... Where are we? Yeah, you ever find a genie in the wild? You want to save before examining them. For mini-boss time against the Jupiter genie. Okay, being Jupiter, they're going to be weak to Venus. So I'm going to use impact on uh, Jenna there. So that way, when I'm ready to make the coup de gras, I'll be able to have as much damage as possible there. And impact boosts your attack stat by 25% up to a maximum of 50%. So we can stack that twice on her. Okay, let's see. The Jupiter Genie has, I think, 267 HP, if my bestiary is correct here. Hmm. Yeah, let's go attack, heal up, and then hopefully Echo will be able to finish the guy off. Especially with the impact boost. Ha-ha! Gotcha! And the experience boost out of it. All right! But all right, we get our first uh, attack. Jupiter Gen of the game, or Genie. So let's see, we got that there. Let's give it to Isaac there because that'll upgrade his job class and stats quite a bit there. Not that I really care about the synergy that he gets out of it, but it's there. I mostly just want that for the stats, and yeah, I'm just going to leave Sheba as she is. Or, hmm. Well, she doesn't have... What was that? Yeah, she doesn't have plasma anymore, but now well, maybe I'll rethink what I do with that there. But this is the way to go as far as uh, stats go around here but can we find a way to get to the oasis in the desert find out next time on let's play golden sun the lost age this is the chi bailey signing off have a good day